Welcome back to the Knights of the Realm project. Got the damsel done, and gonna do a more in-depth tutorial on this one. I really like how this model turned out. So without further ado, let's get started. So you'll see the first thing that I have done here is I've primed the miniature black, and then I'm overspraying uh, with Vallejo Model Air White. That's all the airbrushing we'll be doing for the horse. Uh, then moving on to the damsel herself, I started with a Cantor Blue base coat. I didn't worry about too much about preserving the blacks uh, for the shadow, so I just wanted to make sure that I covered everything up here. The next step on the damsel is to Zenithal down some Hoeth Blue. After that, I just add a little bit of white and make sure to get an extreme highlight on the top of the model. Going back to the horse, I get some Mornfang Knit Brown and get all the leather pieces here. After I finished up the leather, I did the horse's mane and tail with flayed one flesh. Next up is just a simple black to block in the hooves. Now I begin to shade the horse to do that. I'd use one part Drakenhof Nightshade to five parts Lamium Medium. Uh, this ensures that you won't get that coffee stain effect and it won't so much as tint the model as really just settle in the recesses. To shade the mane, I use a one-to-one -one mix of Seraphim Sepia to Lamia Medium. At this point, I realize I forgot the metallic bits, so I go back in and punch those in using Vallejo Air Steel. To finish up shading the saddle, I simply use Agrax Earth Shade to hit all the leather.
At this point, I start preparing the base rim. I use Caliban Green to outline the rim, which will later go over with Warpstone Glow. For basing, I just use Sterling Mud with an old brush. While we wait for that to dry, I started working on the damsel. I started off with Cadian Flesh Tone on anywhere there's exposed skin. Now onto the gold, I use Retributor Armor on anywhere that there is a gold metallic piece. Next up, I paint the potions on her belt in a fist on red, and I pick out the banner hanging from her staff in Korax white. After the staff is done, I begin all the edge highlights using Corax White. After that, I start working on the silver metallics using Vallejo Air Steel. Once those metallics are done, I paint the handle of the staff with Vallejo Cavalry Brown. For her hair, I ended up going with a orange called Jukero Orange from the Emperor Shop. Now onto shading, I shaded all of the gold metallic with Seraphim Sepia 
the skin tone and the hair with Reikland flesh shade, and her robes with a mix of Lamia medium and Drakenhof nightshade. I use Nuln Oil to shade the silver metallics in the staff. Mornfang Brown on the saddle to match it up with the horse. At this point, I dot the eyes using Corax White. I use Mechanicus Standard Gray to edge highlight the boots, which I painted black. Once that step is done, I use Kislev of Flesh for extreme edge highlights, but I end up blending it a little bit with the Cadian Flesh Tone because I thought it stuck out too much on its own. Then I highlight the hair using Fire Dragon Bright. Once the hair is done, I use Waystone Green Technical Paint from Citadel over the gems and anything that I want to tint green. After that, I hit the silver metallics with Null Oil. I then highlight the base using a dry brush of Scrag Brown. I then highlight the horse's mane and tail using Corax White. The last steps are just finishing off the base room with Warpstone Glow and then gluing the damsel onto the horse. That completes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think of this tutorial style uh, as opposed to what I typically do. Thanks and see you next time.